Hello there, everybody. Welcome back. This bin in front of me is the bin that we started with that any coconut core on December 27th, so it is two and a half months old. This is the bin that received a nice, beautiful, warm red on top there. And then a baby one there, too. So this is the bin that received that whole avocado. And we were keeping track of it for a little while. And then last time they got a pretty good big feeding as well. So let's see how they did with that. I'm just kind of scanning through the top here just to double check that there aren't any snails. Right? I feel like this side has dropped pretty good here. I, it was like higher up. So let's see what we got. So nine days. Just like that European nightcrawler bin that we just checked in nine days past. It wasn't purposefully that I planned on nine days, but I guess that's... That's life and that's how it goes. So nine days on this one and nine days on the other one too. So this is that mango seed. Still a lot of worms hanging out right on it. I just turned on the flash. Maybe that will help to see better. It's a lot of worms and I see it. Some cocoons in there too. Still some of those asparagus ends left, but they are pretty hollow. Let's see what else we got here. There's still some that avocado shells right there, so my guess is that there's going to be plenty of worms right in there. First off, let's check that mandarin. It's like nice and squishy and soft, so we'll break that apart for for the worms to have easier access there. And of course, all the worms are going to be right where the avocado is. Here's a banana peel. Lots of worms just hanging out inside. There we go. More, more worms right underneath that avocado. Just hanging out. And some more right here as well. Enjoying life. Lots of babies. That avocado turned into a brooding place for them. But other than that, there's no more food here. Look at all those worms that was right in between that cardboard. It's kind of a weird feeling when they're moving on your hand like that slimy worm ball. Right. Okay. I'm going to move the food off to the side so I can place it back where we feed. That mandarin, two, mango. And we had that banana peel somewhere. There's another part of the banana, the stem of it. Okay, let's see what we got going on towards the middle. Probably not a lot, since they were enjoying that food that was over there. And as always, it's like dry. 
dry, dry, dry here on the opposite end of where the food was. So not a lot of things going on. Okay, let's feed in the middle now. Let's put this bag here and then some of the cardboard and paper towel rolls here. And then I'm going to place back the leftovers right over here, upside down, so they can go back to enjoying and giving us some good worm balls. Then there's that mandarin. A few worms are left behind here. There's a few baby worms on this paper, so I'm just going to place it right here so that I don't miss them. And then we have some fresh food. I have some radish leaves and some celery stems. I got a bunch of raspberries that went bad on me. Those raspberries get mushy really fast. And then a few banana peels and some apple peels. And a lovely apple core as well. And I think that will be enough for them this time with all the food they still have left in here. And what I've added right now, they could probably last at least three weeks or maybe even a month. Some coffee. <laughs> There's that coffee. Let me spray it down a little bit. Now we'll have a little mound of food in the center here. There's a bunch of worms that I just uncovered right there. Look at them. But let's try to cover this the best I can. That paper towel is so dry. Let me spray that down too so they can maybe start getting to it but I doubt it since it's at the top we'll try to mix it in better next time just clear off the edges and make a little mountain of worms and bedding and food in the middle let's put the paper back here in the middle little baby worm will flip him over so you can get to the bedding easier. And then let's put the plastic back on. And then we'll watch this mound drop the next time that we get in here. This completes our feeding and check-in for today. Thank you for joining me. I will see you next time. Have a beautiful day. Bye-bye.